Hello there, I'm Ben Jackson and if you've seen my introductory video you'll know I've been in and around the business community and the entrepreneurial environment for nearly 35 to 40 years. Today I'd like to talk to you about networking and how to make it work more effectively for you. I set up and run a number of networking groups within my hometown. I've also been chair of the Chamber of Commerce for between five and seven years. I've also been a vice chair of the Oxfordshire branch of the Federation of Small Businesses. In addition to that, I've worked within the leadership teams at both BNI and for networking. So I understand networking, I understand the leadership issues within networking, and I understand how to make it work. In my early days, when I was still in construction, I was receiving £100,000 worth of referrals a year from my local BNI chapter. So, some hints and tips very briefly for you now to take away and try and apply it next time you go out to a networking group. 1. Get there early. Be one of the first people through the door. That way you can meet and greet the other members and visitors as they come through. This positions you as being an easy to talk to a person and somebody who you others will want to engage with. It also means that you can go along and talk to the leadership team of that group and maybe offer to help them. Thus, by supporting them and their group, you will gain a higher profile within the group. Two, always be prepared. If you know you've got a 60 second or a 40 second presentation to make during that meeting, make sure you've rehearsed it. At least know what your opening line and your closing line are going to be. It's far better to have a prepared 60 or 40 second presentation than to stand up there and mumble. And one of the worst mistakes you can make if you're going to a group you go to regularly is to stand up and say, well you all know what I do. Because remember, there will be people there who don't remember and there may well be visitors there as well. And finally, for this video clip, the third point on networking. Do make sure when you have to receive somebody's business card that you actually make a note on the card of who you've received it from, what group you were at and what date. And if you can also add something that you've learnt about that person, when you go back to them and contact them, be it by email or by phone, or even see them at another networking event, you can actually ask them about that event, that activity, whatever it is they spoke to you about the first time you met. That way you appear interested in them and not interested in yourself. And remember, it's all about listening, not about talking. Thank you for joining me here today and I hope you'll drop back again to view one of my other videos soon.